folks. Well, yesterday uh, was some pretty demanding work getting those holes cut. Uh, however, that is done. And uh, now we're ready to set our sink, my sinks, and our and the faucets. And so, um, in order to do that, I need to set the sinks first. And I'm going to be working kind of two ends against the middle here. And it, basically, what I'm saying is, I've got to do kind of two projects at the same time in order to uh, uh, get these sinks set properly. Uh, I've got to silicone the sinks into the uh, countertop and I've also got to uh, bring the two sides of the plumbing together and so in order to do that um, uh, I'm gonna have to be trying to move two things at once and it's probably gonna end up a little bit messy with the silicone um, but we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna, we're gonna manage this. <laughs> I'm a little intimidated, but I think we can handle it. So follow along with me and we'll see what we can do here. Okay, so what I was trying to tell you is, we're gonna be siliconing our sinks down into the holes here. And at the same time, we've gotta to try, to got to try to connect the, uh, the plumbing underneath. Well, the only way that's gonna happen is and I can do this I think by using this side right here and bringing it together at the coupling here so that's what we're going to go after here so the first thing I want to do I'm going to go ahead and silicone down this sink over on this side I've cut myself a two inch um, I've cut myself a two inch connector to go into the coupling and then into the uh, T there. So that's where I'm headed here. So I'm going to get this cleaned up, get it clean, get this put together, and stand by. Okay, I'm going to do this from the back side in the hopes you folks can see a little bit. Got my glue ready. And we're going to mount this just like this. Now you can tell maybe that I got a different T than I had originally. And the other one was just too long. And uh, so I'm trying this one. Uh, it's a shorter T, which is going to be make it easier for me to get some fall out of it. There we go. Got some glue on the inside there. And there we are. Now, I can get a little bit of fall out of that to head over to our opening. This may end, actually, end up sitting here and kind of bending around and going in. Now, I need to kind of, if I can, get that to come up a little bit. Now, and I got to measure a piece to go from coupling here into the uh, into the uh, yeah elbow there. So loosen these up just in case I have to play with them a little bit. thing to do here from here is to get my sinks on this side set down in and so this is where I told you we were going to need more of it if you watched the first video I think it was in this series this is where I told you we were going to need more of this silicone and told you you need to cap your need to cap your silicone off because we we're going to need some more of it this is where we're going to need the more of it. So we need to make sure this is good and clean. I'm going to run a nice fat bead of silicone 
all the way around each one of these things. Whoa, that was a little sloppy, wasn't it? Uh, that was that old silicone coming out of there. Had a little block there. Oh, I'm sure I'll end up wearing this too. Okay, there's our start on our silicone. We're going to set this down in and try not to wear too much of it. Like that. Now I can grab it here. Set it down on there like that. I'm gonna get a rag, I'll be right back. I'm gonna take and run some silicone around the outside of this. Now while this is white right now, it does dry clear, kind of like Elmer's glue, I guess. You remember I silicone the drains into the bottom of these sinks, and it did. It had it all dry clear. I'm gonna wipe my tip off there. We're going right down the middle. I know you can't see this very well. Okay, there's that. Now, we're going we're gonna to use our finger here. clean some of this up. Okay, so not perfection, but not pitiful either. I'll be doing some more cleaning up on that. Now I got a finger for my next piece of PVC. Uh, yeah, where'd that come from?
38, quarter, three and a half, or three quarter, two four, and four and a quarter, five and a quarter, plus three eight. Five and five eight. Okay, so we got our piece here. We're gonna kind of eyeball measure. Hmm, looks all right, I think. So we're gonna take this out. We're gonna glue the one side first. Fired in below the sink right now. We'll glue on this side. We'll glue in this side too. The lubrication we want to go all the way in. Like it went all the way in. Now, when we put it together, we gotta get this all good. Together at the same time. So, first thing I gotta do is gotta put my bead of silicone. Up under this thing. Okay, so, got our silicone, we're going to go ahead and put the glue around that pipe down there. So, we're going to put some inside the uh, joint on our elbow here, that. Try to match this up. Oh. And it looks like we did a, a really good job there. This one a little better, maybe. All right, we're gonna let this dry, and we'll come back at it. All right, so there we go. We gotta uh, put water in the sink, and it comes out where it's supposed to. That's a good thing. Now we just gotta get it plumb so it goes in the jug. 
So, next thing is get my faucets connected in. And that's quick and easy. As soon as I get things dried off here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get our faucets put in this. This is going to be the, the permanent installation. Or at least semi-permanent. Now then, I'm going to go ahead and go get my uh, uh, barbed fittings that are going to go on each one of the stems up underneath here and see if I can't get my camera focused around and show you what's going on with that. So there's that. So there's that faucet. Swings just right. That one of course doesn't have to swing anywhere. Alright, so I'll be right back. Okay, so these are the two stems from our, uh, our uh, pre-sync Now what I got here is these uh, half inch half inch pipe to half inch hose bar. Those are going to screw on there just like that as soon as I get some pipe dope on here. You can use Teflon tape on this too. It's not going to, not going to hurt it a bit if that's what you want. Always remember when you put on Teflon tape you want to go in the direction of tightening. Uh, so in other words righty tighty. You want to go this way around with your Teflon so that when you're screwing on, screwing something on you're not trying to unravel it. I'll be very careful on these nylon threads. You don't cross thread going on because you only got one chance at this if you screw it up. You know, a couple twists, we don't want to go too wild with it. They are nylon threads well, on the faucet side. Okay. Alright guys, so there we go. We got both our sinks. We got the uh, uh, barb fittings on there. There we go. There you can see them. Tomorrow, the goal is going to be to get these plumbed in to our pump. Alright guys, so there is our completed drain system into the uh, gray water tank. What will be the gray water tank. Now and over here on the right hand side, we got to do some work in order to uh, uh, we're going to mount our we're going to mount our uh, yeah hot water heater over here on the outside and on the inside we're going to mount our our uh, water pump so that's what we're going to be up to tomorrow this is going to be the end of this video we're almost there so tomorrow, tomorrow's video is probably going to be the end of this this uh, little project. Um, we're looking pretty good. Uh, let me get you off of here. Okay. Well, I'll get my fat, cut my fat finger out of the way. There we go. 
It's looking pretty good guys. Looking like sinks. So tomorrow the goal is to make it run. So, Alright, stay tuned and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit like and subscribe and there's more to come.